I'm Autumn Gilligan, reporting live from Delaware, the first state. Dela what? Dela where? Delaware. For those of you who do not know what Delaware is, it is the first state to the United States of America. If this is the United States of America, I mean, it is the United States of America. Delaware is located right there. The small wonder. I have lived in Delaware now for seven going on eight years. Moved here my senior year in high school from the Midwest, Chicago to be more specific. A number of things I noticed about Delaware that for those of you who don't live in this area should probably know. The first thing I noticed when I moved here was the accents. I was sitting in my child psychology class and everyone was talking about their boats, their home, their phone, like the O's. It's always the O's. I now, because I've lived here for so long, have attained the Delaware accent. That also being said, I walked into a senior class and insisted that I went on the morning news with a awful Chicago accent. It was bad. Things like chapel and basketball and backpack and laffy taffy or jogging. I still still say jogging but not with that like a like a goat of some sort. I remember another thing I noticed almost instantly. Hey be nice to your brother. Cat. Hey baby. Hey what are you doing? You want to say hi? No? You want to say hi? Call me a crazy cat lady. Ew bitch. Anyways, when I first moved here, I went on an ice skating adventure with all these new people from my high school, and they insisted that for lunch, they're like, oh, gotta go to Grotto's, you gotta go to Grotto's, like, best pizza ever. And I sat there very quietly, uh, well, I'm from Chicago, like, we have pretty good deep dish pizza, but I will give Grotto's pizza a try because I do love pizza. Chicago-style pizza, Grotto's. The only Grotto's that's in our area, and it is Rat zone. If you are looking for a place to step in vomit, have your feet be sticking to the ground, or waiting 50 minutes for a drink, Grotto's is your place. If you're looking to fornicate on a dumpster behind Grotto's, Newark, Delaware is your place. I'm not one to meander with all the youngins. Another thing I noticed about Delaware is they are so dramatic. And this is coming from somebody who cries on a daily basis. Literally, I cry probably every single day. Are you listening to me? Hi, princess. You gonna say hi? Do you want to say hi? Oh, she's the psycho, this one. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, Delaware is very dramatic. With things like snowstorms. I remember my senior year, we got off of school because there was a chance of snow. A chance. Anything where there's any chance of snow, any chance of ice, any chance of freezing, anything, everyone runs to the grocery store as if it's their last chance ever to get any sort of food. With things like thunderstorms, if there's a thunderstorm and it's a little bit windy and a couple of branches fall, everyone is on the social media being like, oh my god, oh my god, I think, I think there was a tornado, I think. It was a tornado, the winds were twirling. No. A tornado is something that tears down your entire town. There you don't even have tornado sirens in Delaware because of the lack of funnel plow. And anytime you're bringing it up to anybody who's a Delaware native who's lived the, here their entire life, they'll be like, oh, we had a tornado that one time at the airport and a roof kind of fell off. Everyone's like, oh my god, Wilmington, Delaware is the murder capital of the nation. No. Have you heard of Detroit? Have you heard of St. Louis? Have you heard of Chicago? I think the last time I checked, Wilmington, Delaware might have been number 12 on the murder capital cities. And I'm not trying to go on a roast of Delaware. I do like Delaware very much. If I didn't like it, obviously I would have moved away. I'm not that big of a brat. You want to say? Here she comes to hear it. <laughs> You can see the hatred in her eyes. She is a demon. Also, the size of Delaware is, it is a small state. However, it is getting smaller and smaller by every day. I've only lived here for, you know, a matter of eight years. And there is not a single place I can go to without seeing somebody I know. The grocery store, the bar, the mall, that work. It's not a place you can go around in public safely and know that you're not gonna see anybody because I promise you, you will. Or someone you just met, like, oh hey, like my name's Bob, oh hey Bob, I'm Autumn, you know, great to meet you. You get to talking, I guarantee you Bob, a 
is a mutual friend of mine on Facebook and we have like 80 mutual friends. It's just the way Delaware works. Oh my god. However, there's a lot of things I do like about Delaware. We have the beaches that are absolutely beautiful. Like, the beaches are awesome. We didn't have that anywhere in the Midwest. Like, we had the lakes and they were freezing and you would never see a dolphin in the lake. Like, I have been to the beach now three times and have seen dolphins. Broo, broo, dolphins. Dolphins! Or things like, we don't, it, we, it never snows here. That being said, Delaware sucks at snow removal. If there's flurries, like be prepared for everyone to drive at zero miles per hour because it is just a mess out there. The summers in Delaware are actually kind of terrible. Jeez Louise, are we in a jungle because the humidity is melting. Like, melting! Hi, hi. And the number of factories that are in Delaware are a little bit alarming. I remember one time we were driving home from the, listen, did you hear that? Home, I said it. I was driving home from the beach and you're we getting close to Delaware City. We were coming home and they're like, oh wow, like, what's that out there? What city is that? Is that Philadelphia? Like, what? what's going on over there? Let's go there. It looks like a hopping spot. And I had to be the one to tell them that it is a nuclear power plant and no one should ever go there. Ever. Even got a shout out on Family Guy for Wilmington, Delaware, and you see the picture, and it's just factories. But uh, no sales tax, that's pretty cool. I remember the first time I went to McDonald's, I handed the gentleman a dollar seven for my small fries, and he was like, Wait, what's this? What is this? Like, that's you know, my seven cents for the sales tax. Not here, you're not. <sighs> Anyways, if I hated Delaware, I'd move out. You know, I get a good education at the University of Delaware. It's a pretty good school. Um, made a lot of very wonderful, beautiful friends that I love to death here. I wouldn't have found my beautiful cats if it wasn't for Delaware. Um, but yeah, just a couple of random observations I've noticed over the years. Um, yeah, stay tuned. And there she is, the devil herself, Lucifer's wife. Oh, sometimes she is cute.